OK, let's have a look at the answers to these puzzles. First let's tackle the easy one. So it's white to move and give checkmate right now. OK, let's take a look at the black king. It's mainly blocked by its own pieces, so we have three squares to check. The white knight attacks c7, so the black king can only move along the light square diagonal. I think we're looking for a light squared bishop or a queen. Why is that checkmate? Can't black block with the pawn? No, the pawn is pinned. Better luck next time, black. White to play and mate in two moves. The white bishop attacks g8. And the white queen attacks h7, so the black king can't move. And all we need to do is to give check. What about moving the knight? Well, it's check, but the knight blocks the queen. So the black king can move to h7. And now there's no way to give checkmate on the next move. Let's go back and have another try. There's only one other check we can try. The white knight is defending the queen, so black has to take with the knight. White can give checkmate on the next move. Can you spot it? Nice work from the knight and bishop. This is a little bit similar to the medium puzzle, because the white king is trapped in the corner by the black bishop on c5. But most of black's pieces aren't close enough to attack. And an attack by the knight seems to be well covered by white's pawns. You probably noticed that the black rook is on the same file as the white king. Can we find some way to get those pawns out of the way? If black advances the h-pawn, then white advances the g-pawn, and the h-file is blocked. We need to be a bit more imaginative. The king is trapped, so white has to take the knight. Great! Now we can open the h-file. And it's discovered check from the rook. White still can't move the king. Is this checkmate? No, not this move. White can block check with the knight. But it doesn't matter which square white moves the knight to.